We are living through a global pandemic that is disrupting every sector of society. And so in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about how we can adapt and pivot as content creators, as entrepreneurs, and why now is the time to go all in with YouTube. And specifically, five tips for how you can grow right now and some strategies for positioning yourself, really not to profit from this pandemic, but to profit during this pandemic because it's never been a better time with content uh, consumption going up. So with that, Benji, if people are new here, what is Video Influencers all about? That's right. My name is Benji Travis, and this is Video Influencers, where we're helping build an influence income impact with online videos. You know, Sean and I started this channel to help you crush it on YouTube. We're the co-authors of YouTube Secrets to help you make more money as a video influencer, grow your following, and of course make an impact. So subscribe if you're new to this channel and uh, consider following us for more content like this. But we're excited to share with you what we're doing to crush it right now during this crazy time. Most people would say like it's like damage control, put the head in the sand, kind of like you know, wait for something to happen. But Sean and I, we would say complete opposite. You have to work harder. You've got to plant seeds while also proactively trying to improve your situation right now. And there is a lot of opportunity. So Sean, let's just jump right into it. Yeah, so we have five tips in just a bit for growing, but we wanna start with six reasons to go all in right now. And look, we're empathetic to all of the multiplicity of situations that this pandemic is causing, obviously from health to financial hardship, over 30 million Americans, we're here in the US in Seattle and Las Vegas recording this video, and over 30 million Americans have applied for unemployment. People around the world are being affected in different ways, but there's a lot of things we can't control, but there are things we can control. And so here's a couple reasons to go all in right now. And the first one is that content consumption is up like creators create and now's the time to be creating content um as a result of COVID 19 people said this uh we forum that we're consuming unprecedented levels of media nielsen discovered that online content consumption has skyrocketed by 63 percent and a yahoo finance stat revealed that people surveyed said they're watching 64 percent more YouTube right now. So let us know in the comments, have you noticed your content consumption up? Have you been scrolling more? Have you been watching more Netflix, Hulu, more YouTube? The honest truth is I know I have as well, but the opportunity there is that more people are consuming content, more people are locked down, more people are on their phones, more people are on their computers, and so it's absolutely time to lean in. And YouTube garnered over 300 billion views in the first quarter. And so YouTube views are massively up. You got to be creating content right now. That's right. You know, businessstandard.com just came out with this article about the 300 billion views in the first quarter, which is significantly more than last quarter, but also significantly more than the quarter of 2019, same quarter. So it is nuts right now. I mean, it's pretty obvious why this is happening because people are at home. But the point we're trying to make is don't miss out. Right now, people are consuming a lot of content and it's your opportunity to get in front of them. And we just want to point that out. Um, for, so the second thing that's going on right now is revenue from ads. You know, YouTube nets four billion ad revenue despite coronavirus spending slowdown. And one thing I want to mention is this. You know, this is in the midst of everyone just spending less. Uh, uncertainty kind of breeds a little bit more conservative decisions in business. And even though people are spending less generally, their revenue is, it's, it's crazy. And Sean, I know you've got a lot of thoughts on this too, because we've both been seeing some uptick in revenue in our own channels. Yeah, you know, there has been the acknowledgement that CPM, that's how much you get paid per 1,000 views, has dropped on a lot of channels. But just because you're getting less money per view, a lot of channels are getting more views. So it could be canceling out or people are still really doing well. And with YouTube reporting $4 billion in ad revenue, that means they've paid creators around $5 billion in the first 
quarter. I believe it's a 55-45 split with 55% of ad revenue going to you, the creator, once your channel gets monetized. And also depending on what niche you're in, and that's one of the opportunities right now is really picking your position. It's not even just what your channel's positioned in, it's what kind of topics your video is covering and the type of audience that video is attracting. In fact, we actually have a video about how to increase your ad revenue. So we'll link to that on the YouTube card and put to that in the description below because you can even turn on multiple ads and do certain things to affect your CPM. But Benji, I think the conclusion is, yes, this virus is rocking the world, but creators create. If you're still creating content, you can actually be generating a lot of money off of YouTube. And advertisers still have to be advertising, which they are. Even with some dropping out, YouTube, the numbers are real. The reports are out. You got to get in on that $5 billion ad revenue uh, for yourself and your family. Absolutely. And so the third thing that we want to bring up of why right now is the perfect time is because at home spending, e-commerce is jumping up. I don't know about you, Sean, but I got a huge stack of boxes and ROI Revolution blog is showing how much more increased spending there is on things on Amazon, on websites, people are getting things delivered. So the real question is, are you in front of those purchases? Are you making recommendations? Are you taking advantage of different affiliate partners to create income for yourself? Because I will tell you this, it's not going to slow down and it's not going to stop. In fact, I know that everybody wants life to get back to normal, but I think forever people are changed and less shopping is going to happen, less going out in public and delivery is just going to go up. Um, Sean, I know that you've probably seen this uh, with Think Media. Tell us why this is something people should be paying attention to and how it's going to affect everyone's business moving forward. Yeah, we are completely empathetic to the fact that restaurants have been shut down and some have even truly been destroyed because they were forced to close their doors and they weren't allowed to have people to come through their doors. Some businesses that relied on face-to-face -face interactions have been so disrupted. Um, and a lot of things have been a consequence of this virus and this lockdown. But what has, what it's shined a light on is the fact that every single one of us and lean in, if you're taking notes, like really write this down, you need to have an online business right now. You need to have an online offer. And even if you have a brick and mortar business that will open again, that will have people coming to it again, you need to diversify and also have the chance of having at least both. That means potentially e-commerce. What's your, how's your website doing? Are you shipping products online? That means that you're positioned online with some type of offer. You're like, well, this is all about YouTube. Yeah, even as a YouTube creator, you need to be thinking about the business model around your YouTube channel. And when I think about e-commerce, even if you're just starting, Benji, you're right. At Thick Media, one of our biggest sources of revenue is affiliate marketing. We don't have our own products. We don't ship and receive cameras. But what we do is we review gear and we share tips on gear. And then when people click those links, we get paid. And so even with the reduction in Amazon, uh, commissions and of course there's other affiliate programs. You could be an affiliate for Target, Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, Joanne Fabrics, Nordstrom, R Style, like all kinds, Sephora. You could be an affiliate for almost anything. Just talk about that, those products in your videos and order volume has increased by 50% compared to last year. So more people Crazy. are shopping online and they're gonna shop in the future. But the next one is the fact that unemployment is rising, but people are looking for opportunity. Benji, what are your thoughts there? This is a thing. I, I want to share with you guys how Sean and I met and why that was planting the seed for video influencers and so much more. You know, Sean and I met at the worst time of our lives financially, and this is around 2010, a couple years after the real estate market crash. And that's when we started to partner together on different projects. Um, for my vlog channel, Sean and I had some other projects outside of that. And then finally, we started Video Influences in 2015. And then basically 10 years after meeting each other, we've got this channel half a million subscribers he's crushing on think media I'm still vlogging daily five days a week and so the reason I bring that up that partnership started during an economic crisis uh, when real estate crashed the financial district was just completely obliterated and right now is no different so think about this this high unemployment means that there's so many people not just desperate for jobs but maybe looking to create 
new opportunities, right? Uh, 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 pursue things they haven't before. So whether it's you hiring all these skills that are out there, all, all these people with experiences to be able to be part of your team, right? To help scale up your business or partner with somebody. And uh, you know, this is why I talk about our VI story, which starts way before the, the channel. You never know what uh, seeds are gonna be planted. So keep your eyes open because there are people right now because of the lockdown, because they can't work remotely, maybe because they already got laid off that's looking for opportunities and this is your opportunity to not only give them a, a job and a paycheck but potentially create something that you couldn't before just because uh, there's so much resources uh, the next thing I want to mention is home-based businesses you know working from home uh, businesses letting people work more remotely lifestyles around having a home office connecting through zoom conference calls like that that's not going to go away. So there's a lot of opportunities for new niches. I know that a lot of people are desperate to set up their live stream like we've got at home. So that has skyrocketed in terms of search and people consuming content around that. Sean, I know I just dropped two points of what's going on right now and why people should be paying attention. And we're going to be talking about how to uh, act on these. Anything you want to add to those last two points? Yeah, you're exactly right, Benji. It's just the time influencers to reinvent yourself. It's the time to pivot. And I know it can be overwhelming mentally. And especially maybe if you were going in one direction and your industry has been disrupted or even your skill set, but this is the time to develop new skills. And when Benji shares our story, we, I believe we're fortunate to go through the crash and the recession of 2008, and 2009, because it changed, changed our perspective. It changed who we were as men. It changed our families. And this is an opportunity to change yourself. It's kind of a wake up call to say, man, am I diversifying my income? Am I building an online asset? That's what a YouTube channel is. YouTube is freedom. YouTube is authority. YouTube is influence. YouTube is something that's like a fine wine. It gets better with age and you want to invest in YouTube. And even if you're starting from scratch, are we saying that if you start YouTube right now, that overnight you're going to get results or that it's going to save your finances in one month? No, it won't. You just need the wake up call right now to be going all in on YouTube so that you're ready for the next thing that happens in three years or for the next thing that happens in six years, whether we go on a good economy or whether it, bec it becomes wavy and unpredictable from here on out. You have to be planting your flag building your influence and really establish establishing something home-based or something online and that's what benji's saying now is absolutely the time to be doing that i think also benji you've got another point here based on history there's been some accurate predictions that it's gonna the real effects of this thing are gonna be felt for years and so i don't think it's good to wait the wrong response right now is to wait and say, I'm just going to see how this thing plays out. And once it plays out, I'm going to mm -hmm. make my decision. No, you got to go act now to say, I got to get this live th stream thing set up. I got to figure out how to get on camera. I got to figure out how to just plug a mic in. What is my niche? What is my genius? What is my topic? What can not only be something that I'm passionate about, but something that can also be profitable. Now is the time to go all in. We're talking about six reasons to go all in. I hope you're getting fired up and I hope you're getting some value. So hit the like button if you are, but now is the time to go all in. And Benji, history kind of repeats itself. Mm -hmm. And I think we can learn some lessons. In 1918, we had a pandemic called the Spanish flu. Sound a little familiar? Uh, it's similar to what's going on right now, but it, it, it was horrible in terms of deaths, but very similar in terms of what happened to the world. Everybody got shut down, masks became a normal thing. But the reason I like to bring this up is because yes, Sean is correct. We can learn a lot from history, but in San Francisco, a man who actually lived through that was interviewed not too long ago. And he said, it took four years before people felt comfortable to go back to churches, right? Felt comfortable to go to sporting events, get back to normal life. And that was way back then. Now, whether it's uh, less time now um, uh, or the same, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if maybe it's like half the time, right? But still, that's two years. Even a quarter of time is a whole year. You've got a whole year, number one, to make the most of this opportunity that we have right now and also adjust your strategy. Point being, a lot of people are looking to get the economy back going, get back to regular life, but I don't think regular life 
is anywhere near us right now. So ask yourself, how are you going to adjust to the times and honestly plant the seeds for the rest of the future? Because I do believe there's going to be a new norm and it's something that we need to consider. The last point I want to make about wh why right now is the time to start YouTube is it's a level playing field. You know what's so crazy? Everybody has to stay at home. In fact, if you create content like in the way you normally did, whether you're a celebrity making movies or maybe you're, uh, you're, you have a show and you host you know, a live audience, like it's almost taboo right now, right, Sean? Where you can't really have people or even these huge teams. So I wanted to use an example of late night hosts. If you look at their shows right now, they're nowhere near what they usually are. In fact, some of them are using uh, webcams on their, uh, their laptop, okay? And they don't have whole production teams. It's these kind of like jerry-rigged uh, you know, systems using Skype and Zoom, like the random guy outside, not it's her producer for Ellen, but even Jimmy Fallon, who is probably the top of his game and uh, th the lead in terms of late night hosts, is a one man band. This is your chance to outperform those people, uh, be at a level playing field. It doesn't matter how many millions of dollars of production uh, uh, equipment they have or the, the crazy professional teams. Uh, what I'm seeing right now, and Sean, I would love to hear your, your um, thoughts on this, is one-man band YouTubers, including myself right here, which I don't even have uh, the normal team I have in this studio. Like, I have to do this by myself. I'm able to produce higher quality content than some of these celebrities are because, again, this is normal for us. So if you're a content creator, if you're a YouTuber, if you've got a channel where you create content so regularly and you think it's like it's good content for YouTube, but actually when you look at the, the, the whole scope of entertainment in general, you might have a leg up because you're already used to working by yourself. Sean, this is kind of a crazy time to say that there's legit A-list celebrities that are down in YouTube with us and having to do everything by themselves. I'm sure they've got one person there, but very similar production levels to what people have at home. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Benji. And I think that's the opportunity. We are saying now is the time to go all in with YouTube. Is it going to be easy? That's not what we're saying. We're saying it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it because you're planting the seeds today for the harvest that you want to reap tomorrow. And so we got five tips for you in a second, but here's the six uh, tips recap. Number one, why go all in? Because content consumption's up. Nielsen told us 63% more people are watching content. You got to be creating content. YouTube still netted $4 billion in ad revenue. That means creators got $5 billion of that paid to them. And that was even during this tough time. So you gotta be creating content. Number three, e-commerce order volume has increased 50% compared to last year. People are looking for opportunity right now, number four. And number five, home-based work. You gotta reposition yourself. You gotta figure out an online offer. You gotta figure out uh, how to live stream from home, create content from home. Be flexible. Uh, blessed are the flexible, those who bend and don't break. Even if you're gonna go back to some kind of brick and mortar business, you need an online online offer and online presence because this thing may not be ending anytime soon. And even if it does, you want to have multiple flows, multiple opportunities, multiple ways of generating revenue so you can provide and fight for your family, your community, and your future. And number six, this leads us into the next five points. It's a level playing field. Look, if you got a smartphone and a pile of shoeboxes, you can start creating content right now. Should you level up your production value? Sure, but you can start with what you have. Ready is a lie. Start before you're ready. Punch fear in the face, punch perfectionism in the face, and press record. You gotta make bad videos to get to your good videos, but you gotta start and publishing content, just like we started over 10 years ago. And Benji, our first videos were terrible, but mm -hmm. thank God we started during a recession. We started when our lives were disrupted, when our finances were in, we just had total havoc in them, but it was honestly a gift. And I think that's one way to look at this. I know, don't, don't misunderstand me influencers. You know, this, this pandemic is bad, but a perspective could be that it actually is a gift. What's the gift? A gift of a wake up call, a gift of thinking about things differently, a gift of seeing how precious life is, a gift of cherishing time with your friends and family, but also a gift of potentially reinvention 
uh, reinventing yourself and thinking about maybe what I thought was so secure isn't so secure. I can learn new skills. I can pivot my plan. I can adapt right now. And I'm going to look for the good and the hidden opportunity in the middle of this obstacle. And so, Benji, I'm excited. Let's yeah. talk about five tips on how people can pivot their plan right now to really maximize what content creators should be doing mm -hmm. during this time. For sure. And so the first tip that we have for you guys in pivoting your plan to make the most of this pandemic. And the first tip is create more content than you consume. This is such a simple tip, yet I can even say I fall into the trap of consuming more content than I create, especially like if you're down and out, maybe feeling a little depressed, you want to get your, your mind off of some of the stresses of work or lost revenue, you know, turn on YouTube, watch a whole bunch of videos, go to Twitter, uh, look at, you know, the, the, the information about the virus and everything. But what we would say is really start the day and focus on creating content first before consuming. And this is very, very simple. And a, a great example of this is this business owner named Kenji Lopez. He has some restaurants and uh, they all got shut down, of course. And he didn't even skip a beat. He turned on his camera and look at him. He just put on a GoPro above on his head, literally showing what he's cooking. And daily he's making content about what he eats and he's making these food videos. And this is a restaurant owner. This isn't his main thing, but he's creating creating the content because people are consuming it. And so I use that example because you don't even have to overthink it. You can simplify the process. And even though it's not high quality production, I'm watching his videos every single day. I'm being inspired. So ask yourself, are you creating content uh, more so than consuming content? Sean, I know you've got a lot of thoughts on this topic. Why is this such an important principle that people need to inherit into their lives, especially right now? I think that, you know, the key to succeeding on YouTube is posting videos on YouTube, man, who would have thought, right? But I mean, that's just one of the things that sometimes we we're maybe even watching channels like this and some of our friends like Nick and Tim and Daryl, and we're learning and we're journaling and we're strategizing, but are you posting videos and tell us in the comments, like how many videos are you posting per week right now? Are you even committed to one per week right now and how can you maybe double down on creating content creators create we're not saying don't consume come on we're reading we're studying we're leveling up plus we're trying to re re relax right now you know we're spending more time i know benji and judy they're watching netflix stuff sony and i just discovered killing eve that's crazy man uh, i'm busting through final fantasy 7 remake come on you still got to take some time to uh relax and take you know uh get some stress off but yeah i would recommend if you want to see the impact of this you got to be creating more than you consume and benji we've been doing this like crazy over at think media you know what's amazing in our particular niche is you can actually see in our views right here what happened during the lockdown this is a 90-day view of our think media channel and we were getting around 62,000 views a day and then as soon as the lockdown started you can just see how the views began to increase now this was because we had a crazy. library of ranked videos and a lot of stuff happening from the past. But here's another thing that I want people to see. Here's two videos in a week. Here's three videos in a week. And to be fair, friends, like there's a couple people working at Think Media. We have a team over there and a couple different content creators. But this was what our full-time team was doing was like two videos a week, three videos a week. This thing happened and I was like, yo, y'all, we, we got to create more than we consume. We got to double down. So now you can see we went to five to seven videos a week is what this average is out to. We posted 29 videos in April. So not only are more people at home consuming content is what we could see here, but we did not take it for granted to say, we're not just gonna chill out during this lockdown. We are gonna double down and create content. We started three new shows. I now do a show called Coffee with Cannell where I do a QA and a show on Facebook Live and I multi-stream it to think marketing as well. Um, we did a, a buy a weekly Q and A show on the Think Marketing channel. We started a new VRA show inside of our private Facebook group. We are creating content. We're practicing what we preach, and the results have been matching the effort that we're putting in. Now, if you're just starting, you're not going to necessarily see a mountain of growth. In fact, our new channel it doesn't have that mountain mountain because we didn't have the library of videos. By the way, Benji, video influencers same result. 
We've been putting in work for years planting seeds that now that everyone's locked down and watching, it's grown. But the only way you get there is to build a library of valuable YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So influencers, create more than you consume. Boom. And so I, what I can say is same thing on It's Judy's Life or daily vlog, even with the kids being home from school, because of course school got canceled. Uh, we're still creating content every single day. We actually know how important it is right now to be in front of people because other channels are also creating content too. And like Sean said, not only did we already plant the seeds for what's happening now, but the real question is, what seeds are you gonna start planting? You know, we're talking about the crisis that's happening currently, but what video library are you gonna build for a future crisis, right? For a future time, because I wouldn't be surprised if this pandemic happens again, whether it's this year or 10 years from now. Um, so the second tip that we have is be careful what you consume. Be smart about what you're putting into your brain. It, again, it's so easy to be consuming content, but when you are consuming content, make sure it's good stuff. It's just like health generally. You know, if you eat Twinkies and not necessarily that I do, but if I were to eat like pancakes and all carbs and lots of sweets and ice cream, don't get me wrong, I love my ice cream, right? But if that's all I ate every day, I'd probably gain some weight. I'd probably get maybe uh, diabetes and get unhealthy and it would not feel very good. I wouldn't be very active but if I'm eating salads if I'm eating fruits if I'm eating you know high quality uh, uh, home-cooked meals I'm gonna not only feel better I'm gonna perform better it's the same thing with your mind with what you consume so are you watching uh, enough positive reinforcement type of motivational videos right are you watching uh, content that's gonna educate your brain are you gonna watch content that's gonna inform you in addition to that is be careful about about how much news you consume. I know personally, I watch so much Sean that the, the news is only depressing because it's crazy what's happening in the world. So I had to limit how much of that I consumed. Again, I'm being much more perceptive of what's in front of my face and what's on my phone because I know that affects how I think and how I act. And of course, the results of my life, my business, and ultimately my YouTube channel. Sean, uh, what are you doing to be careful? And what would your suggestion be to people uh, that are creating content out there? Yeah, Benji, you know, I think that this is the reality that you are your most valuable asset. I mean, I know these are five tips to help you get views, but these will help you get views because look, if you can't get motivated, if you can't get out of bed, like you're not going to be able to create not only content, but the best co content possible. And think about it. You tube, you are your most valuable asset. And when we are saying you want to be creating more, but you got to be careful what you're feeding on. You are what you eat. And for me, Benji, it is. It's guarding my mind. It's guarding my focus. And it's me realizing that if I just overdose on negativity or I just overdose on distractions, then I'm not going to be in the right state as a leader, as a creator. You know, April was hard. We mm -hmm. had crazy results in April, but it was a freaking tough month because we were, I mean, six, seven videos a week in the different live streams and the logistics of business and everything else. I'm not saying, sitting here saying that was a, a walk in the park. So I had to guard my energy, had to guard my mind, had to guard my spirit. And so I encourage you influencers, you are your most valuable asset. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you guarding yourself? You know. I've been praying and of course there's no judgment there's only empathy going for Phil DeFranco who took a week off because and I don't blame him his job is doing the news and he just put out a thing and, and scrapped his shows for the whole week and said I just can't I can't handle it like I'm just in such a state of of uh negativity and I'm just sad and I think he did the right choice I think you might need to take a break you maybe mm -hmm. need to take a day off mm -hmm. you maybe do need to rest because tired eyes rarely see a bright future. And he said, I hope to get back to it on Monday. So he was taking care of himself so that he could get in the right state so that he could keep putting out content. And man, he's in a place where he's, his vocation is to be constantly looking at the news and everything else. But is that your job? Because if not, yeah, you should stay informed, but you might want to put the blinders on and focus on your work. 
Focus on your calling, focus on your message, focus on how you're helping people, focus on the content you're creating, be careful what you consume, and maybe schedule time for when you can consume. You know, I typically am not consuming until I've created throughout the whole day. Consuming happens around five, six, seven at night when we make some dinner and then we sit down and then we check in on like everything bad that's happened. Mm -hmm. And then we finish episode two of season two of Killing Eve. Come on, that show's pretty crazy, man. Has anybody seen it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Uh, and then, and, and even time limits and even a reward, you know, like I think taking, whether that's taking weekends off or nights off, you just got to find a rhythm and be smart about what you consume. And influencers, if you've been getting value out of this stream, can you hit the like button? In fact, can we get this video to 200 likes? That's our goal today. And let us know how many videos are you consuming uh, or are you creating per week? And if you found this to be a challenge of maybe staying positive or getting motivated or even getting into the right state, because we get it, man, guarding your emotions is tough right now with everything that's going on. The third tip that we have, which is smart topics, pivot your content and videos to serve new problems. I mentioned this before multiple times that the world is changing and is forever changed. I know we want to get back to some kind of normal, but it's never going to be like the normal we knew. It's going to be a new normal. And with that brings new challenges, new problems, new questions. And Sean, I know that I could probably list off like 10 new different channel ideas that weren't possible before. Literally, you could be a Zoom channel right now because Zoom went up. Like if you didn't know what Zoom was, you definitely know what Zoom is right now. If you have to talk to a team, you know, uh, have your kids, the kids are using it for school. They're using Zoom for school and homeschool. I mean, literally like the chain of different ideas that come up just thinking about one problem. So how are you going to pivot your channel? You know, right now, like for example, a gardening channel, I'm seeing a lot of gardening channels. You know, I love gardening. They're talking about how to grow vegetables during a pandemic. Uh, what are the quickest growing foods so that you can store up for if uh, there's another crisis? People are pivoting. They're taking advantage of the fact that this is what they care about, but they also understand that they can shift their niche a little bit because things are changing. You know, for gardening, it's going to get more popular. In fact, you know, I'm not going to call out any nurseries, but our local nursery is, uh, I didn't know was going to be open. Well, they're staying open because there's a ton of people going to buy things for gardening right now. So, Sean, uh, you know, this is something you're very passionate about, which is being smart about the topic, niching down, drop some wisdom on how people can really take advantage of this moment in terms of the, the change in interests and uh, new searches that are happening on YouTube. One top recommendation is just recently uh, this week, we posted a new video with Rory Vaden on the six questions that you need to answer as a content creator. So definitely check that video out. We'll link it up in the YouTube description. Um, but one of the first two questions is, uh, what problem do you solve? And so tell us in the comments, what problem do you solve? If you don't know that as a YouTube creator, you're in trouble. You're gonna, you're gonna struggle to grow. And some people say, well, I'm an entertainment channel. I'm not like solving how to live stream or I'm not solving YouTube tips or I'm not solving how to get biceps like a fitness channel. But if you're an entertainer, you solve boredom. You solve, you know, being able to escape or to be able to relax. You want to get clear on what problem you solve. But Benji, what I see as uh, the opportunity right now is here's basically what entrepreneurship is. Simply summed up, entrepreneurship business is solving problems. Mm -hmm. McDonald's they solve hunger problems. You know, Starbucks, they solve energy problems or thirst problems. You, you know, Target solves all kinds of problems, strollers, bikes, uh, whatever, lots of different things that they sell there. And, and every successful business is clear on what problem they solve. Well, you need to be a business-minded content creator. And here's the opportunity created in the midst of this really challenging time in the world. There's tons of new problems. Entrepreneurs solve problems. So how can you pivot your content to really be serving these new problems? Don't get romantic and even discouraged if your particular channel views have gone down. It might mean you need to put that on hold or change because again, if the focus has shifted, if a restaurant owner said, well, I'm just going to sit here and wait and stare at the room until the seats start to fill, mm -hmm. then 
they would be waiting a long time and not producing revenue. But I think about like one of our favorite restaurants in Seattle, Canlis, um, and uh, Benji and I both love going there. And Benji's a huge fan because the food and the chefs, and he's a food guy. And of course, his YouTube channel all about food. They, they said, okay, people can't come to our dining room anymore. So we're going to open up three new businesses. We're going to open up a bagel business where people drive through and they deliver it. We're going to open up a box delivery service where we deliver family meals. We're going to open up a lunch business. And this was a fine dining restaurant in Seattle that was putting lunches out for like $14 because they pivoted to the new problems. People still got to eat. They just had to eat in a different way. Postmates, Uber Eats, that's going through the roof right now. I know for me, it's going through the roof right now. That's probably where all our money is going for Sony and I, because these are the new problems. So think about on your channel, Benji hit a couple. Um, it doesn't even have to be directly pandemic related. It just has to be in the psychology of what people are looking for. People are searching for more home-based workouts. People are searching for mm -hmm. how to do more things online. People are searching for, they have more time on their hands. So a lot of people are doing home projects, decluttering their house. I know Sony has been decluttering drawers, cleaning out closets, because we're just quarantined. We're locked down at home. We but It's interesting with most businesses locked down, Home Depot and Lowe's is going freaking crazy, man. I think people got their stimulus checks and people are like, I'm working on home projects. The lines are crazy. My dad was telling me, couldn't even go anywhere in Lowe's up in uh, the Northwest. So it's just mm -hmm. a different type of problems. You got to connect your YouTube channel to the problems people are looking for right now. And YouTube, you're right, Benji, is a search engine. People are looking for help, looking for answers, looking for unique things right now. And that's the opportunity to get more views. And that's why you got to go all in because you can really grow yep. on YouTube right now. For sure. And so we have a lot of sympathy for everybody out there that's got, you know, some, you know, lost revenue. If you lost your job, maybe you're on limited hours. We totally understand. And the reality is there are some people that might not be able to create any content at all. Like for example, travelers, right? Or travel vlogs, like you can't go anywhere, especially if uh, your country doesn't allow you to come back. You wanna be able to come back home. But I actually have friends that are travel vloggers and what they're doing is uh, their top five favorite destinations. So they're using old content to create new content. Definitely not nearly as exciting as going to a new place, showing uh, their perspective of that place. But you know, there's always a solution and I always say, Say, are you somebody that's gonna lean on excuses or search for solutions? Um, but the fourth tip we want to talk about, and this is relevant for people that absolutely cannot create content for whatever reason, right? And you've got all the time in the world, which I think everybody can uh, relate to. Sean, by the way, us too. We're like cleaning out everything in the house. But the fourth tip is skill up. Start learning the, the new skills of this new era. Start learning whatever you need to learn to be prepared for what's happening now and what's gonna happen in the next you know six to 12 months to next decade. I'm telling you, things are gonna be completely changing. And so whether you're a solopreneur um, doing everything as a one-man band or as a team. So Sean, any thoughts there because I know even myself, like I'm asking you for uh, book reads. I've been listening to a lot of audio books. Uh, literally, when you send me a podcast on anything, I'm like, okay, I'm listening to it right now because I also have a little extra time too. You and I, we're not traveling anywhere. We haven't got, we, we basically canceled any of the conferences we would go to and we're both adding good stuff into brain and, you know, continuing to learn so that we can be prepared for what's coming up next. Yeah, ask yourself influencers, what skill should you develop next that's gonna help you grow on YouTube? And get really clear about this. Maybe not even the skill you wanna develop, but your maybe one of your bigger weaknesses. Is it learning video editing? And there's websites like Skillshare or LinkedIn Learning. There's also just free YouTube tutorials. Is it your on-camera presence? Are you actually intentionally growing your confidence? Are you learning thumbnails and taking time to learn Canva or Photoshop? You know, there's even opportunities right now where if you're a student, uh, Adobe is letting uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud be free for students. And so not only can you get access to that software, but you could be watching tutorials and really developing the necessary skills right now that will help you dominate on YouTube. And the reality is the more you develop yourself during this lockdown, the greater and you'll be able to dominate when it's 
over. And I believe that what you're doing right now is going to be multiplied 10 times going out of this. So some people, again, are putting their head in the sand. Some people are consuming the wrong kind of content. And those results are going to grow up or lack of are going to affect the next three, six, nine months. But some are saying, well, wow, I'm going to really skill up right now. This is an opportunity to learn. Benji, over the years, I've had to learn every aspect of YouTube. You know, mm -hmm. I just uh, I still do all of the thumbnails over on Think Media and I've been a video editor since 2003. And I remember opening up video editing software. I didn't know I didn't know the difference between PAL and NTSC. The first time I ever opened up a video editing and people watching are like, either do I. But I remember <laughs> I opened it up and I picked PAL because it sounded more friendly. I was like, that is like it's like a PAL that no joke. And that's the European uh, uh, frame rate in my premiere sequence. And so for three months, when I was making videos for my church in 2003, everything was so jittery because it was the wrong frame rate. It's I didn't crazy. know any better. And you might be watching this and you might not know any better. This is the time to skill up. Come on, learn video editing. Come on, learn your on-camera presence. Learn how to teach and structure content. Learn how to uh, add effects or after effects or color grading. There's so many different skills. And here's the thing, don't get overwhelmed because you can't learn all skills all at once. I think the key is to identify the next skill you need to learn that will be the biggest needle mover for you. Like where are you getting stuck? Where are you slowing down? Maybe you're a business owner where you're a little bit further in your career. You're trying to figure out how to scale this. Maybe you need to learn teamwork and delegation. Benji, I was a solo, uh, just you know, I was just a technician, just mm -hmm. a solo video editor. I didn't know about leadership. I didn't know about building a team. Now we got 11 people at Think Media and I've got to figure out how to be a CEO, how to be a leader. And so every single year I've had to add new skills the more you develop yourself during this lockdown, the more you'll be able to dominate when it's over. What skill are you sharpening right now? Mm -hmm. And I love that you brought that up about leadership because it's really the next tip we have. But let's go through the points that we made. Number one, you should be creating more than you consume. Create a lot of content. And we know it takes a lot of work. Secondly, be careful what you're putting into your brain. Make sure it's positive stuff. Make sure it's stuff that's going to help you out and not bring you down. Third, smart talk topics, pivot your channel. How are you going to adjust to the niches that are relevant right now and how are you going to adjust for the future? Four, skill up. And so the reason I go through all these and then of course we're going to get into the fifth tip is because we know how much work it takes to do any one of these on top of damage control on top of making up for lost revenue on top of if you are a leader worrying about people's salaries or how how you're going to pay their benefits worrying about your mortgage how you're going to put food on the table we we totally understand now the reality is this, Sean and I, we've been building our businesses for many, many years. It started during the last crisis. So we already had a mindset of we're going to prepare for any scenario. We never thought this would be one of the scenarios. So we're diversified. But the point of the last tip, which is lead. You've got to become a leader, whether you're leading yourself or a whole team. And the thing about a leader, they have to do more work. You know this if you've ever owned a business or you run a restaurant, you uh, are, are the head of a team, and you not only have to do the work that's required to run that business or uh, that channel, but you've also got to additionally lead. And so the last tip that we want to share is about leadership. Sean, let's talk about why this is so important in a time of crisis to literally lead people because we are in a war of sorts, right? Not like a military war, but a war against uh, poverty, right? War against uncertainty, a war against uh, this crisis, which has put everybody's business, everybody's families in this crazy predicament of being isolated, quarantined, and having to like figure out how are we going to survive this? How are we going to uh, potentially thrive through what's going on in the world? Yeah, I believe that the reason tip number five, why we have to lead during this time connects to getting more views is because it's a mentality shift that we need to take as content creators. Here's the reality. If you're a content creator, you're really positioning yourself as what? As a thought leader. And so what does the leader do? And this is a great question to ask for yourself. Leaders lead. Mm -hmm. Leaders are ones that stand up and they they go the way they show the way and so 
if you're gonna be a content creator, but you're not creating content, then you're actually kind of abdicating your role. You're not, you're not doing your vocation. And you might say, well, Sean, I just kind of do this as a hobby. I've just kind of uploaded a couple of videos. I'm not really a serious YouTube creator. Well, I wanna challenge you. If you want YouTube to work for you, you need to take it seriously. If you want professional results, you need to act like a professional. And this could be the game-changing moment in your whole YouTube career, this moment in this video right now, where you make a mental shift to say, I'm gonna lean into this, and I'm gonna stop dabbling, and I'm gonna start dominating, I'm gonna lead. And ask yourself, what would it be and look like for you right now to adopt a role model mindset? Like, if you're a content creator, you're, you're not saying you're perfect, we all make mistakes. You're not saying you even have the credentials. Well, Sean, I'm not an expert. I'm not an expert, right? I didn't go to film school, but I've got a channel that teaches people how to film because I just started. I started messy. I learned as I went. I just shared my answers, my way of doing things. Come on, you got to lead right now. And your, P your community, your family, your followers, I don't care if you have three subscribers, they need you to lead in positivity, in consistency. Come on, influencers. You gotta be up, up posted videos, create more than you consume. Leaders, post content, because leaders have to overcome their inner demons. They have to overcome discouragement. They have to get up, and when everybody doesn't feel like doing it, they do it anyways. If you want more views right now, this will help you by mm -hmm. adapting a role model mindset and saying, leaders lead, I'm gonna lead right now. And we want to actually encourage you to check out our video on being wartime leaders. And that's kind of the reality that the type of leaders we need to be right now is even different than at different times in the world. Like more is required of us right now. We're not saying that it's easy. We know it's hard. We know you're tired. We know you're discouraged. We know you're overwhelmed. We know you're dealing with a lot of emotions right now. But at the same time, what's the alternative? Do we just stick our head in the sand or do we stand up and say, I know what I'm fighting for. I know what my reasons are. Can I, I'm fighting for my family. I'm fighting for my future. I got a baby on the way. I'm fighting for the next generation. Crazy. I have a whole nother level of purpose that I have to tap into. And so my friends, leaders lead. And you got to think different and move different right now. And I heard Gary Vaynerchuk say this, Benji, that honestly, the reality is this event, this pandemic is going to be the greatest dividing line of winners and losers. And it sounds mm -hmm. like harsh language, but it's just the difference because some people are going to shrink back, but some people are going to run into the fight. And we're challenging you influencers. This channel is to help you succeed with video, to help you succeed with video and YouTube. And you're not going to be able to do that if you're consuming more than you create, if you're not posting videos, if you're not guarding your energy and just letting your emotions be driven by every message around you and just going with the flow. No, you got to rise up and lead during this time. When you do, you're gonna see massive things happen on YouTube. Why? Because there's a vacuum in the world. We need leaders, we need positive messages, we need people that are even just helping us with humor, comedy, come on, giving us some gameplay so that we can relax after work. People that say, I'm not gonna let discouragement keep me on the sidelines, but I'm going to stay in the game, I'm gonna punch fear in the face, I'm gonna punch perfectionism in the face, and I'm going to press record and lead. I wanna echo what Sean said. Do you wanna be a winner or do you wanna be a whiner? I don't know if that's exactly what you said, but we know from personal experience, from 2008, 2011, around the time when Sean and I met each other, we were, we were, we felt like we were winners, but we were also losing everything. So you can still be a winner in the midst of you not being able to pay your bills, right? We've been there uh, like deciding, are you going to pay your credit card bill this month or your mortgage this month, right? We know in the midst of your, your uh, job being lost, of your business crashing, that you can still be a winner. So the question isn't about your circumstance, right? Or how much is in your bank account. It's about your mindset. It's about the actions that you can control. And so we're going to be talking about the leader that's required uh, a little bit later. If you guys are watching the replay, uh, make sure you join the uh, Video Influencers Membership Club because we have all the extras for you guys available. But uh, the reason I bring up this, this uh, fact of, you know, you can still have a positive mindset in the midst of uh, failing 
is because everybody's getting hit, you guys. You know, I mentioned how Sean and I started uh, YouTube and video influencers in the midst of us losing our homes. Literally, I met Sean when both of our homes, I think, were going into short sale. Uh, in the midst of us, literally, he was working a full-time job on top of still being a contractor, shooting videos, editing, right, uh, collaborating with me. I had uh, just quit my job because I thought it was uh, it was all about real estate, and then literally literally real estate crashed. So I had to get a part-time job, uh, you know, like, and I had to become a real estate agent, which is really not what I wanted to do. And so even with us being so busy, we were still able to plant the seeds for YouTube channels, right? Where 10 years later, it's a completely different scenario. Even though our businesses have been effective negatively, right? Whether it's lost revenue from, you know, affiliate deals changing, or for us, brand deals came to a halt, you know, because brands are trying to be careful about how they put out their products, how they advertise their services. Uh, we have been planting enough seeds for the last decade. So I'm not saying that to uh, impress you, I'm impressing upon you the importance of what you're going to do right now. It, it's crazy because with every single week, the world seems to get to a worse place, and that can easily be depressing. Now, I sympathize with anybody that's got family and friends that are in the hospital that have passed away. Obviously, people that have uh, lost income, lost their job, their business has maybe failed, or maybe you had to like literally just completely give up, right? Because you just couldn't afford it. You had to let go of your whole team. But in the midst of things getting worse and worse, that's when it's not only more important for you to put in the right actions to be able to improve your life right now and you know do some damage control, but you're planting some major seeds. I can tell you without a doubt, and I'm gonna hand it off to you, Sean, next, um, is the seeds we planted 10 years ago are serving us today to help not only get through this crisis, but support us and set us up for the next 10 years. So the question for you is this, and put it in the comments below. Today's question of the day is, what seeds are you planting for yourself? What video ideas are you going to follow through on finally and upload to your channel? What kind of YouTube business are you going to have? We want to know from you in the comments below. Sean, what are your final thoughts before we uh, um, end this broadcast? Yeah, I just want to say that influencers were in your corner and the mission of this channel has been the same to help you build your influence, your income and your impact with online video. Um, if you got value out of the video today, let's see if we get it to 200 likes. That's the like goal. Smash the like button. Um, definitely answer the question of the day and check out the wartime leaders video and also check out that how to really narrow down on your niche right now with Rory Vaden. We'll put show notes and links in the description below. And there's a couple great questions uh, that we'll answer in between Benji uh, mm -hmm. in just a second as well. So I'm excited for this part too, but let's land the plane. Sean and I, we know how hard it can be, how hard it is. We've been there. And even with us having a completely different life and perspective and position than we were at 10 years ago during the last crisis we also are not only being affected but working harder than ever we're doing double time and remember you know sean and i are both expecting a baby in the next like six months and <laughs> thank you and our businesses are uh being affected negatively but we know how important this window of time is. So I hope that you take advantage of the extra time that you do have. I hope that you can get through this hard time and go through it with a positive mindset. So uh, make sure you check out our whole playlist right here if you wanna see how to start a YouTube channel or top tips. Um, and to check out that leadership video that's so important right now, whether you're leading yourself or a team, click or tap the screen right here. As always, we're helping build your influence and Impact with online videos. We'll talk to you later.